Hi, I'm Phil Matier. I'm the test pilot for Ter the Terrafugia Transition, which you see here on our first flight. And uh, this is to fellow pilots to give you a little idea of uh, what the first flight was like and what this vehicle's like. This was on the 5th of March, about 7.30 in the morning at uh, Plattsburgh International Airport. Now, let me take you through and talk to you about the vehicle and what's happening. Uh, if you notice, four wheels on the ground, it's a car and a plane. It's actually very stable on the runway. Pilots are going to love this vehicle, taxiing around, running down the runway. We've been able to test above 90 miles an hour on the ground in a light sport aircraft. And so we get in a lot of our test points. We've already gotten them before this point. Uh, we've got all of the flight controls we've gone through and uh, made better even at this point. So watch as it goes by. Just a real smooth, stable vehicle on the runway. Now, those of you who know about canard airplanes are expecting an aggressive rotation. And we, had, we, were, we were aware of that, uh, that being a possibility, but you're going to see that doesn't happen. There it comes up smoothly in the air, and actually uh, I'm able to correct it very quickly. I'm expecting it, so uh, this flight, the, this is a runway flight. That was our test plan, was intentionally to keep it within the runway environment, so it's uh, just to make a smooth transition to land again. And as you can see, uh, the, uh, the notable part of this is just how smooth everything is. Just watch, I'll run it at full speed. I am making aileron inputs there. Everything is so smooth and, and uh, so, so controlled straight down the runway that everybody's asking me, well, do you even use the ailerons? Uh, stability, it's always a question on your first flight. It was just rock solid. Uh, eight, the controls were uh, responded just like any normal airplane. In fact, I made the comment that it was remarkable for being unremarkable, it just flew like a really nice airplane. The uh, touchdown with 2,000 feet remaining and uh, came to a halt in another 500 feet, having car brakes, uh, landing roll after touchdown is not a big issue. Uh, one of the things about this airplane that I think is going to be a really good feature, and we'll prove it more in the future flights, is being able to land above stall speed. Because it's a car configuration, the wheels are behind the center of gravity, so once they touch down, the airplane is going to smoothly come to a, is going to smoothly come down to the car position, and it won't rotate. Uh, the rotation speed is 25 knots above stall speed, so as long as we are on the ground, below rotation speed, we're in the car mode again, and you saw how stable it was. So uh, those kind of landings, fly on landings above stall speed, very controlled and very stable, or I think is going to, people are going to really like landing this airplane. Uh, as I pulled the power back uh, quite a bit, coming to the end of the runway, well, we had still 2,000 feet of remaining and another 1,000 feet of overrun. So uh, even that was closer to a, you know, a power off landing, closer to a kind of stall. We were looking at uh, 70 knots cal for our touchdown speed for this vehicle for the first flight. And uh, I hit it right at 70, uh, a few degrees nose high, a few degrees nose high, and the uh, nose came down just like we planned. As, a, as the pilot, it just felt like a normal landing at that point. Uh, I came to a stop by 1,500 feet, and that was the end of flight one.